Hey guys, so today I'm gonna do a what I ate today video, but I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make everything. So today I'm just gonna have three simple recipes that you guys can easily make at home and I'll show you how I made them. So for breakfast, I'm just gonna be making a mango oatmeal and let's get started. This recipe, I'm gonna be using a cup and a half of oatmeal. I'm gonna put some frozen mango on top and then I'm just gonna put coconut flakes, buckwheat groats. So the first thing that we wanna do is just cook our oatmeal. Oatmeal is always a two to one ratio. So for every cup of oats, you're gonna need two cups of liquid. I am going to use a cup and a half of oats and then three cups of this almond breeze. So now we just wanna bring this to a boil. I'm also having this green juice for breakfast, which I'm like obsessed with having green juice for breakfast lately. Once this comes to a boil, we are just going to reduce the heat to low and then let the liquid absorb into the oats. So about five minutes later, we have this thick and creamy oatmeal. So now we're just gonna pour this into our bowl and the oatmeal will thicken more as it cools. And there is breakfast. So we want to preheat our oven to 450. We are going to add a sprinkle of each of these. I probably use a quarter of a teaspoon of both of these and then half a teaspoon of each of these. And then I also use about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. It's all in the salt. The salt is what makes it honestly taste like fries you'd get at a restaurant. So I got all my seasonings in here and then I literally just shake it until they're well coated. And then we are gonna pop these in the oven for 30 minutes. And here they are 30 minutes later. All right, so for dinner, I'm gonna make us this Thai red coconut curry that's just super easy. All I do is I chop up a bunch of veggies, so I have some broccoli slaw, some red cabbage, cilantro, mushrooms, um, red pepper, broccoli, and I'm just gonna add coconut milk, so half of this can, and then two tablespoons of this red curry paste into a pan and just saute it and it's the easiest curry ever. All right, so I've got everything in here. I'm just gonna let this saute until all the veggies are cooked, so about 10 minutes. Um, and I'm just gonna put the lid on. And then there we have a nice healthy and colorful meal.